<laughs> Robin. Weekend almost here. I got a mouthful of food. How cool was Stacy Keach? He was really great, man. Uh, I liked it. He's just an old school guy. Bill raised a good point in the break about just talking to him about how you wanted to classic, be guys I, like him. Yeah, classic. I, I thought of a great question to ask after the interview was over. Like, I was going to ask, I, yeah, of like how back in the day, like his generation, the generation before were like guys, guys, like all the movies back then, Dirty Dozen, Kelly's <laughs> Heroes, TV shows like Kojak, SWAT, all those, right into the 80s, Vegas, all those shows, they showed guys, guys. Being guys. Yeah. And Womanizing, so, yeah. And drinking, and... You know, and a lot of the names were probably... Falcon punching people. Yeah, they were awesome. And now it's been in, like, uh, some of it, I guess, is a little bit silly, like, how, like guys, guys they were. But there's just been such an overcorrection. we now, way. Yeah, we're guys way to now put it. are just, like, complete pussies. Yeah, it would be nice if they went back that way slightly, right? But it's because it's being written by different people, too. Like, back then, there were, like, older school guys who lived a, a life experience creating these people. And now it's a lot of it is younger guys who kind of grew up only on television. There's just a whole different generation creating characters, and it just seems like they're not like they used to be. I know I'm not saying much there, but That's, I should shut up. That'll get us to 10, though. Keep talking. But, like, no, Archie Bunker <laughs> as a creation oh, is a God, lot yeah. deeper and, and more layered than uh, anybody who's done a sitcom in the last X amount of years. I mean, save Taxi. I mean, you know. Sure. You look, look at the characters now. They're all just these fucking one-level guys who they give little fun things to. Like, ah, look at this guy. He loves to, he loves to you know, hammer his nails into the wall. Like, that's his thing no, to that, make that, him and relatable. And he gets a laugh doing it. And then there's always just the, 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 the random foreign guy from a country that kind of exists but doesn't really. You just go in there and you speak in some sort of... Hmm. I guess they did that on Taxi, didn't they? They did, but Coffin was pretty brilliant. And it was also like... It, we worked in the mid or early 80s. I mean, I'm thinking like that dude on that 70s show, which I never really watched, but every time I would flip yes. through. Yes. Yeah, he was like, hey, we got to get out of this scene. How do we get out of this scene? Well, I have the foreign guy, yeah. you know, say something about his pubes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're into commercial. But then Kaufman would come in as Vic, Vic Ferrari, where he, yeah. where he just lost <laughs> his mind. I'm a huge, yeah. I'm a huge Kaufman, uh, Kaufman fan, but uh, uh, fucking DeVito. Killed it on that show. He's oh, one of the best TV character in history. Was Louis De Palma. Unbelievable. Who's your? What are your top top five movie uh, TV characters of all time? Got to go. Devito and Taxi. Uh, Louis, yeah, De, uh, Louis De Palma. I got one. If you Hawkeye know. Pierce, uh, all all that in Mash. Uh, obviously, uh, Carol O'Connor as Archie Bunker. Absolutely. And uh, the other two, uh, I would have to take a second to think about. I, 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 would uh, I got one. Mike Brady. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the dad. Yeah. Only because I relate to his personal life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you uh, got two, Bill. I got uh, Vinny Barbarino. <laughs> Dude, that, there's no way. To this day, if a comedian does a Vinny Barbarino impression, that kills me. What I love about that, that is you see that's totally John Travolta. Just yeah. no, you can't write that. Right. And I'll tell you, even as much as people think it's funny, uh, Henry Winkler playing the fonts. Like, you watch that show, like, he saves... That show. That show would yes. have been like oh, a season yeah. and a half, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And like, you just watched like the stuff that that guy did. It's the like, last, none of that is on the script. The last couple seasons were definitely rough to watch, but. Uh, oh, and he was the mechanic uh, shop teacher. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was awful. What killed it for me. Oh, he what, grew the beard. Did what, he? What, yeah, oh, yeah. When, when it, what killed it for me is when you started hearing real interviews and realizing he's such a nerd in real life. Henry but that's Winkler. also what I like about it. We talk about what a great actor he is. You he he wanna, doesn't sound like anything like him. Yeah, I know, but you kind of want to think he's sort of the Fonz in his real. I don't know. Well, like I don't know he, what it was. He, he it was did, like taking the curtain away. I didn't want to see like such a wimpy guy. Was well, that was the like Fonz. when he did that. Uh, he did that movie uh, with uh, Michael Keaton, Night Shift, and all of a sudden he was sort of the nerdy I guy. Like that movie. That was a great movie. Is it still and great? And how hot was what's her face in her panties when she was make the hooker there when she was making him breakfast? That was a big uh, moment for me. This is before Tube 8 there, kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was all you had to live by back then. I wanted to bring up Night Shift the other day, and I was too scared because I'm not sure if it holds up. But I remember that being a really good movie. There was Michael the, Keaton was on um, The Other Guys. So when I saw okay. Michael Keaton, I'm like, fuck, man, I remember him in Night Shift. He's done a lot of good yeah. you know, He's Batman and all that shit. But I who remember your, from uh, Who were your, your uh, movie? Like, I used to have uh, Terry Gar was huge for me. Ah. Well, I mean. I always wanted to bang Madeline her. Stowe. Madeline Stowe, there you go. Uh, Bo Derek, which is Kate Jackson. Oh, I don't mean like you know. You, you, I mean like like TV wise. I'm, I'm no, I'm I, talking about not like Farrah Fawcett. Who everybody. I know. Likes. I was going to say Farrah Fawcett. Kate Jackson on the Rookies, dressed as the nurse. 
I wanted to be Mike Danko. There's another great I, TV. <laughs> <laughs> Mike <Yeah>. Danko. <laughs> I think I was they just don't come up with names I, like that anymore. I was lame because I was really into big boobies for a while, so like Wonder Woman and all that. Oh, oh that she shit. was, a she <laughs> she was, was the all, greatest. All that horse shit. I, I the would, thigh high boots. I would just focus on big <laughs> boobs when I was growing up. Finally matured and realized there's more to a woman than. Oh having, no! No, you finally big you, huge. Breasts. No, you were right when you had it the first time. <laughs> totally. Big tits are all that counts. And what was uh, Stacy's character's name? Was what Mike Hammer? Yeah. How great is that? What a great name. Mike Hammer. Hammer. He's bringing the hammer down. You, well, you knew what the show was before it even started. You're never going to try to jerk off a guy in a fucking booth named Mike Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a man. <laughs> Look at that. And that's all natural. Big man. natural God fat heavy tits. Damn Wonder oh. Woman. All right, listen, uh, we're uh, we're going to be wrapping up here. Bill Burr's going to be in Atlantic City. Well, we don't have to promote that, obviously. It's a very exciting show. A lot, of, a lot of fans are going down to see see the big show. What? Do you think any her boyfriend at the time, he had to have made her put on the Wonder Woman suit? Oh, my course. Oh, hell fuck it, yeah. She could lose the headband, but she can keep those. She could lose the, most of the most of the rest of her body, but uh, Jesus, God, that's some uh, nice uh, big and heavies. Yeah, I would love to hear like her, to in the her hood. opinions on uh, <laughs> what hood. I know. Were you thinking uh, Shelley Long earlier? Is that who it was? Yeah, yeah, she was smoking in that movie. I was confused when you went down the road. I didn't like Shelley Long ever. I, you know, I, I didn't like be, what she looked like. I didn't like her. I on, liked, uh, I liked her in losing it, and I liked her in, uh, ah. in, in. Uh, Oh, yeah, there she is right there. Let me take a look. Yeah. Having some hooker make you scrambled eggs? <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. It's a, it's, it doesn't, the, uh, the oh, panties doesn't sexy hurt. there. Wow. Well, yeah, look, you I never found her, like, sexy, I guess. There she is. Okay, well. I'll yeah, well. Uh, look, those panties are a little big for now. She's nowadays. dishy. I'll say. Big hairy pussy in there. Oh, look, tremendous. You know, that's a world of hurt. Tremendous. We got one more thing. Um, Bobo has to voice oh. a promo, and he doesn't know what the promo is about. Yeah, no. We want him to do this cold because it just—it's just more fun when we play it back on the channel. Where's Bobo? It don't and don't worry, this is a quickie. Also, want to thank Stalker Patty. She kicked fucking Oscar's ass in the gun debate. Great job, Patty. I was kind of bored with all the stats, but she was uh, she was well versed. That, that was forty-five to three. Forty-five all to three. All over again. Can't argue that, Patty. Thumbs up on uh, knowing your shit about guns. What's up, Bobo? I'm doing good. I didn't ask. Raise the mic. We have to raise the mic up a little bit there. It's for, I want to hear Daniel. Mm. It's good. Hi. Okay. People love you on this show. It's just amazing. <laughs> he looks like a nerdy Juan Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You all right? Why are you dressing nicer? No, I don't know. Just I'm avoiding the mic. Is that like a Christmas sweater or something? Probably. No. no. No, I've had this for a while. I just said to dress nice today. That's all. Well, this you look a big from return to the show, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you look terrific. And we, we want you to just voice a promo for us, if that's okay. All right, no problem. And we want you to read a cold, so. We don't need any music. We just got to shut our mouths. Yeah, yeah, we'll be quiet. Okay, this is uh, Bobo. Mm. Hi, hi, everyone. It's me, Bobo. Are you sick of hearing my voice? Well, you're not alone. That's why the show is finally getting rid of me. <laughs> My one-trick pony baby-ass dick has run its course. And now it's up to you to find the next Bobo. They were freaks before me. They were freaks after me. No, 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 sorry. We'll, we'll, we could obviously edit. Good. Start with there again. They were freaks before me. They were freaks after me. Why can't you see the word B? Or <laughs> will be. There, Start again. Wait, wait. There. They were freaks before me. <laughs> there will be freaks after me. If you're if you're a monstrosity or you know a monstrosity like me, email Opie and Anthony at oh, no, no, e no hand. E email Opie Anthony at SiriusXM dot com and tell the show you could be a star just like I used to be. Now all I got left is my relatives <laughs> who I've had sex with. Good goodbye everybody. Bye, Bobo. <laughs> There's the door. I, we tricked you. We, we wanted you to come in and read a promo. And you read it perfectly, Bobo. What's wrong? Bobo. Yeah? Did you have one last thing to say? No. Uh, I'm going to say it. Say it real quick. Just for fun. No, I'm not going to say it. For the it. promo. We need it for the promo. <laughs> Just for the promo. I'm not gonna say it. Bobo, you, you feel like we tricked you? What do you mean? We wanted you to read a promo. Watch how did we? How did we trick you? I don't get it. No, that promo. I didn't know that was a it was a farewell promo. Yeah, it certainly was. Say that last thing that we need for the promo. 
Yeah, but that, that, that I can't say. That's... We just need it for the promo, buddy. Yeah, but that is the line. Real quick. It is, it is, it is the line. We need it. Hmm. Alright, that is the line. We need the last line for the promo. Alright, I guess... I guess they'll say it. Mom's box.